Well, I think you can see what's happening here tonight, that iris gets bigger every year. And I think one of the most important things to state is, is its prize, the £25,000 for a filmmaker that apparently is the biggest in the world. And I think that's very important, prestigious though other gay and, uh, ceremonies are. It literally this is practical, this is money, this is filmmaking, this actually finances people and makes something out of it and makes a new piece of work. So I think that's vital. So I think it'll just grow and grow. I think if there's still large portions of the heterosexuality saying why do you need a gay and lesbian film festival then that proves why we need a gay and lesbian film festival because there are matters of the heart and matters of politics and moments of insight that are uniquely ours that actually you cannot rely on the straight community to bring out in their films or in their documentaries or it naturally comes from a different slant if it's by a gay filmmaker or if it's by a straight person approaching gay subject matter for the first time you know to say that it's um, uh, 40 years since, since Wolfenden and, and therefore problems should be gone is kind of like primitive language from the playground. I think it's obviously a long way to go. A lot of issues still to be talked about, a lot of interesting stuff to be put on film. And who says that films only have to be about problems anyway? Maybe there's a lot to celebrate, a lot of brilliant stuff happening, a lot of uh, banners to be waved saying how fantastic this is. That's a film as well. So awful lot more stuff to be made for generations to come. There's an awful long way to go in terms of terms of gay characters on television. We have certain totems in place now, and certain icons, but they still stand out. They still stand out as rare and unusual. And um, I mean, the work of getting that on screen will never stop for as long as people have new insights into what gay men and women are like, and bisexual men and women, and transgender men and women. And that is the work of our whole lives. That'll never end. There's always something new to say, just as there is always something new to say about human nature. So television is a lot better than it was in terms of representation, with miles and miles and miles to go. I'm in a very lucky position that I get stuff made, but um, there's still not enough of us, so um, the fight goes on.